This is a video for more advanced heating adjustments, including main zone and weather dependent heat curve instructions. If after increasing the room temperature on your thermostat, you find that the system is not achieving your desired temperature, you have a couple of options to adjust to your preference. Firstly, try increasing the leave-in temperature of your hot water circuit via the main zone option via the main unit interface. From the main menu, navigate to main zone. Use the right dial to increase the leaving temperature, for example, increase by 10 degrees. This will automatically save after a few seconds with the blue triangle indicating the increased set point. If we hit the home button, we can see the leave-in temperature has adjusted to the new set point. The system will still respond to your weather dependent heat curve with the addition of this main zone increase. You can return the main zone setting to normal by reducing the additional leaving temperature back to zero degrees. This means that the main zone setting will not ask for any additional heat rather than setting your leaving temperature to zero degrees. For more long term settings, you can adjust the heating curve. If you find that you would prefer more or less heat during particular outdoor temperatures, this video will show you how to make these changes. To access the heat curve, head to the main zone, press the left dial again and scroll to heating weather dependent curve. Please be aware that making any changes to the heating curve can reduce your system's overall efficiency. Please contact your installer if you are unsure of how to get the most out of your heating curve. The slope setting is highlighted in blue. This gradient dictates how sharply or how gradually you would like the heating to respond to the outdoor temperature. The steep gradient means the flow temperature will increase more rapidly up to the maximum temperature, 60 degrees at milder outdoor temperatures. A gentle gradient means the maximum flow temperature will be met at a lower outdoor temperature compared with a steeper gradient. When the slope icon is highlighted in blue, you can use the right dial to adjust the gradient of the slope. Use the left dial to switch from the slope setting to the offset setting indicated in blue. This adjusts the flow temperature for all outdoor temperatures. The gradient remains the same shape. However, the whole graph can be raised or lowered. This means the heating will kick in with the same gradient, just at a different outdoor temperature, depending whether you increase or decrease this set point. Once you are happy with the adjustments to the heat curve, press the right dial followed by the left and look for the synchronising message. This message may only show for a second. Once the synchronisation message has gone, press the back button repeatedly until you are asked to restart the system. Select OK and wait for the system to restart. Once the home screen returns, the new adjustments will take effect. Please be aware that making any changes to the heating curve can reduce your system's overall efficiency. Properly configured heating curves ensure maximum efficiency as it maintains the minimum flow temperature at a consistently desired level, avoiding inefficient fluctuations in temperature. Please contact your installer if you are unsure of how to get the most out of your heating curve. If Evolution Eco Homes installed your system, please email info at evoecohomes.co.uk to request a heat curve adjustment.